Well, hello. As we get into fall, we get into those what? Those comfort, cozy dishes that just pull us in and are delicious, make us feel good, especially on a cooler, chilly night. So this is all about a great pasta. And it's gonna have a sauce that encompasses my favorite, winter squash. Now you could use you could use any squash you wanted. I'm gonna use butternut squash. I love kabocha or buttercup squash too. But if you can, usually butternut's just easier to find or it might be what you see all the places you go. So it's just a great one to use because it's all purpose. Now what I love about this sauce is it has the sweetness of the squash, but it becomes a delicious kind of smooth sauce, but has Italian sausage, it has sage, it has all the flavors that you're really craving. So to start, we wanna roast a far squash. So I'm gonna cut off the stem end and then I'm just gonna cut it down lengthwise in half. So the one thing you always, the hardest part I'm gonna say of any winter squash is that to cut through it can take a little bit of work. But once you do, you get that beautiful orange flesh and you just wanna clean out the seeds with a spoon. Now you can roast these, you can put them in your compost pile, you could dry them and next to your plant for butternut squash, you really could do whatever you wanted. But what I love about butternut is it's always good. It's always consistent. It's always sweet. It's kind of like a sweet potato in that, but it's a, you know, a little bit different texture. Ugh. But it's my favorite thing to use in the fall, no matter what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take my two halves, pretty simple. I'm gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil, just cause I think when it roasts, it gives it a little bit more flavor. It helps the caramelization. I'm gonna actually roast them cut side down. Cause I think that helps again, steam them as they roast and kind of make it a little bit more even. So while that's roasting, we're gonna roast along with it a whole head of garlic. So I don't know if you've ever roasted garlic, but to me, this is the best way to use garlic. Once you cut off the top, notice this is all my homegrown garlic and I grow hard neck garlic. So that top stem can be kind of hard to cut through because it is, it's a hard neck and you can see that. But once you do, you expose all the little cloves in there. We're gonna put them in a pouch, just out of some tin foil. And it's gonna steam and roast, get golden brown. It's gonna get sweeter, caramelized, soft, and we're just gonna squeeze it out of there and get all that great garlic flavor without the harshness of it. So I'm gonna put this all right in the oven. We're gonna roast it until the squash is completely soft. The garlic is roasted. We're gonna make pasta, we're gonna make sauce. It's a good fall dish. While the squash and garlic is finished roasting, I am chopping up just some, you know, delicious Italian sausage. Now, why I like Italian sausages, it has more of the good spices like the sage, the fennel that go with this dish. And I'm just chopping up in links. You could use a ground sausage, but I actually kind of like that just umptionness of the links. And I like the pieces that kind of come into it. So obviously it's fully cooked, but what we want to do is kind of brown it just so it gets some, you know, those good charred bits on it. So I'm going to take it over. I have a little bit of olive oil in here. I'm going to add this right into here and it's right away. It's just starting to sizzle. It's sounding delicious. We're going to turn our water back to a boil. It's been boiling. And when it's at a boil, you always want to make sure you season it well. This is the one chance you get to flavor and season your noodles. So I'm adding a good amount, a good amount of salt. We're gonna grab our noodles here and we're just gonna pour them all right in to the water. I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna let the sausage brown. We're gonna chop up some onion. We're gonna get the sauce going. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm pulling out the sausage. You can see what I like to do is get it browned, kind of crust on both sides. And then what it does then it imparts all that flavor, all of the oil from it, mixed with the olive oil that's in the pan and it's right down in there. So I put it on the same plate cause it's not cooked. I mean, it was fully cooked even before we browned it. And now we're gonna add some chopped onion right to that delicious oil. You get the sizzle right away. That's what you want. You wanna put all the onion in there and then we're gonna season the onion with some salt. You really wanna season as you go, add those layers of flavor. This also helps the onion break down quicker. We want them just to slightly caramelize, begin to soften, cook in that oil, work up some of those bits that are on the bottom. Then we're gonna add that roasted garlic, tomato. This is, it's coming together and it's smelling amazing. So while the onion is softening and becoming translucent, I'm just finishing up here chopping some sage. This is fresh sage, so it has a strong, you know that you know sage. Usually we associate it with Thanksgiving, but with sausage and butternut squash, there is something warm and just, 
I don't know, to me it's an exciting one to use. So what I'm gonna do, I took out my squash, I have the garlic. If you come in, you can see. So what happens with the garlic is look, we can just squeeze it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it over to here. We're gonna squeeze it right into this onion. We have the translucent onion down in there. We're squeezing in the garlic. Why I like garlic like this, yes, you could just chop it up. You could put it with the onion, but look at that creaminess in the garlic. What that's gonna do, it's gonna really kind of be sweeter, be kind of tempered out so it's not so strong. We're gonna add some sage. We're gonna add a little bit of crushed red pepper. That just kind of, it kind of wakes everything up. You're not making it so much that it's spicy. It more kind of wakes up all the flavors so you really taste them and kind of get a great surprise from them. So I'm gonna stir in that garlic with the onion and the sage. Once you make this, you're gonna know what I'm talking about here. While that's kind of just going for a little bit, I took out my butternut squash. And what I do to check when it's done is one, you can just see the color of it. You can take a knife. It is super soft and just no resistance. I already scraped one out and put it into this bowl. And what I'm doing, just taking a spoon, it literally just scrapes out. And I'm gonna use this now in the sauce because it's gonna be creamy and soft. So I'm gonna sit here and just finish scraping it out with a spoon, because look at that. Not use the skin because that texture in the sauce is not what we're going for. But then it's gonna come together. You're gonna have this creamy, sweet, delicious sauce and it's exactly what you want in the fall. The garlic has really cooked in. The sage has really flavored everything. You get the aroma. So I'm gonna put in a whole can, small can, of tomato paste. And the reason is we want that concentrated tomato flavor. I don't want all the liquid from tomatoes necessarily. I just want that sweet tomato flavor and not the astringent kind, but this is gonna be, you know, tomato paste, what it is is it's cooked down tomatoes. So you get that great flavor from it. So I want it to kind of cook a little bit so it doesn't have a raw flavor, but really starts to begin to kind of get those caramelizing flavors on the bottom of the kettle. So we're gonna slowly let this cook in. I'll bring the pasta up when it's done and just al dente because we're gonna finish everything together. It's gonna come together. We're gonna add the we're gonna add that butternut squash. It's already looking good. I can't wait. Our tomato paste is cooked down, and what you can see is it got darker in color. It got a little deeper color, and it's starting to want to kind of stick on the bottom of the Dutch oven here. And that's exactly what you want because that means you're really starting to get that caramelization to it. So I'm gonna add in our butternut squash, which at first you're gonna say, um, Caleb. This isn't, looking, this isn't looking too sauce-like. But what I've done is I've removed my pasta from the water. I'm gonna just take a little bit of that pasta cooking water. That is what is gonna actually help create the sauce. So we're gonna add some of that water. It takes a little bit more than you think. And we're gonna take, you can use a spoon, but I sometimes like to get it started with just a masher, just to make sure you're getting that all mixed together. And what you're gonna find out is, what comes together is a sauce. This butternut squash cooks down and becomes a sweetened, creamy, and all that flavor now from, what all? From that tomato paste, from the spices we added. That's all coming together, and you're getting this really beautiful sauce. So to this now, I wanna add in the pasta I cooked because I wanna finish it right there in the sauce. And guess what, it's hot. So you have, <laughs> sometimes you guys, you have to think these things through. So it's still hot from cooking, so I'm gonna add it in. And after it sits out a few minutes, you're first gonna say, ooh, it might congeal together a little bit. That's gonna be just fine. We're gonna stir it together. We're gonna bring on that sauce. We're gonna mix it together. We're gonna add in the sausage, some Parmesan cheese, all the flavors we're really wanting here to make that cozy comfort food, perfect for fall. And as you're mixing, don't be scared to take some more of that pasta water pour it on. So I'm gonna keep stirring. I'm gonna add the sausage back in. We're gonna finish it up. You'll taste it with me. I mean, I'll taste it for you guys, don't worry. And here it comes together. As I'm stirring it up, I'm just finishing up. I have my pasta water if I need a little bit more. That just helps temper it out. It really helps even out the sauce. We're gonna add those pieces of sausage. And what I love is look how browned and beautiful they are. We're gonna add some grated Parmesan cheese. You know, what's great about Parmesan? It doesn't take near as much as you think because it grates really finely to add a great kick of flavor. You get that saltiness. It's kind of like finishing something with the salt and it adds that great flavor right at the end, which who doesn't want that? This, can you get more excited? This to me is what's great about fall. I'm indoors more. 
because it gets dark earlier, it gets cold. So I start coming in and I start craving good, delicious comfort food. And that's kind of what this is. So if you're wondering what pasta this is, it's bigger pieces, it's a tube pasta, it's pocketery pasta. Now, what I love about it is these big pieces really grab on to that hearty sauce and they really take it and kind of elevate it and help you really notice it as you're eating it. So when you plate it, you get, you know, look at that. You get some of the sausage, those big pieces of pasta with the sauce. And what I like to do is take just like a vegetable peeler and then put on some big pieces of parm just so you really get that hit of flavor, which I just think, does this not look delicious? This to me, it's like a restaurant at home. You can make good food at home. So you take it, you get a good piece of the sausage, pasta. Oh, I even got some cheese with that one. I like that. I'm happy. <laughs> what I love. Pasta is just perfectly cooked. And you get so much sauce with every bite. Now we are not trying to hide that it's butternut squash. I hate when people hide vegetables in something. You get the flavor of the roasted butternut squash, which I love. It has a sweetness to it, but then that roastedness gives it that caramelization with more depth of flavor, along with the crispy edges of that Italian sausage, which really is brought out with the sage we also added. It brings out the sage and the sausage, and then that little hit of parmesan. This comes together. And it has so many depths and layers to this flavor. That tomato paste, it really brings out something. This is something that while it takes a few steps, yeah, you might mess up your kitchen. It's totally worth it because you get an amazing pasta dish at home. So what do I want you to do with it? I want you to make this pasta. Nourish your family, nourish yourself, whatever you need, but share it around. If you share this video around, of course it helps me. It helps everyone see good food that's delicious is easy to make at home because if I can do it, Anyone can do it. So check my website, wiseguide.com, for this recipe. Every other recipe, that's where they live. Print them off, use them however much you want. Till next time, enjoy food with good people. It's what brings us together.